Adding references to your Google Slides deck? Want to offset sections of content so they stand out? Well, hanging indents on Google Slides are a quick and easy way to do just that. Hi, I'm Andrew Childress. I'm a Google Slides Pro, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do hanging indents on Google Slides. Thanks to Google Slides web and mobile apps, you can do this from anywhere. In moments, you can add hanging indents to your favorite Google Slides presentations. And when you know how to do hanging indent on Google Slides presentations, you'll be sure to wow any audience. For this tutorial, we'll be using the beautiful Marco Google Slide template from Elements. I have it downloaded and open in Google Slides here. As you can see, there are many slides included with an array of cool design options. Let's learn how to make a hanging indent in Google Slides using this slide here, which is number five in the deck. First, let's touch on what hanging indents on Google Slides are. Hanging indents offset all but the first line of a paragraph. You'll commonly see these on reference lists and works cited pages, but they're a good option anytime you need to add some contrast to blocks of text. To do a hanging indent on Google Slides, you'll first want to be sure that the ruler tool is showing. You'll find it here in this open space right above your slide. If you don't see the ruler, you can turn it on easily. To do that, come up here to the View tab and then click Show Ruler. Now, the ruler will appear. Now, let's add the hanging indent. It's really two steps. We'll indent all of the text and then reverse indent the first line to create the hanging indent. To get started, let's click on the text box here to select it. Then, move your cursor up here to the ruler. See this arrow here? I'll click and hold it, then pull it to the right. You'll see the text indent below. Now typically, hanging indents are half an inch over from the left, but you can use any value that you want. As you can see, all of the text is now indented. Now let's left align the first line to create hanging indents on Google Slides. Look back up at the ruler and find this horizontal blue box right above the arrow that we just pulled. Click and drag it back to the left, making sure to place it at 0.0, .0 inches. Release your cursor and you'll see the complete Google Slides hanging indent. Now keep in mind that a hanging indent applies to full paragraphs. So what does that mean? Well, in essence, if you type in another reference, you'll see it with a hanging indent effect automatically. If you're using a works cited list, it's a powerful time saver that automatically keeps your formatting consistent. Watch the hanging indent apply as I'm typing here. And remember, if you don't want the hanging indent effect, simply remove it using the slides up here on the ruler. That's all it takes. In moments, you've learned how to do hanging indent on Google Slides presentations. It's an easy, efficient way to make text stand out. Keep it in mind for your next project, especially if you're sharing references or a bibliography. All you need is a powerful premium template from Envato Elements. Elements is an all you can download resource for creative content. For a flat monthly rate, you'll have unlimited access to thousands of Google Slides templates, along with stock photos, music, and more. You simply can't afford to miss out. Before you go, don't forget to like this video. Then subscribe to our Envato Touch Plus YouTube channel. There, you'll find countless other tutorials just like this one. Plus, you can enjoy courses, content roundups, and more. You can't afford to miss out. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Touch Plus, and thanks again for joining me.